Good morning. It is day three in hotel quarantine. I don't know if it's day three or day two. Like, we arrived at, like, midnight on the first day. So, it's two days after that. So, we'll call it day three anyway. Um, I want to talk briefly about humbling experiences or being humbled. So, people always say on LinkedIn, you know, like, oh, it was such a humbling experience to win this award. or And it's usually real estate agents or politicians. Or they say, oh, I was so humbled to you know, achieve this or achieve that. And I just always wonder, like, like where are they getting their explanation of what humbling means? Because I want to talk a little bit about what I think a humbling experience is. I don't think it's humbling to win something. I think that's a proud moment. But last night I had a humbling experience. So for those of you that know me well, you know that I'm a chronic sleepwalker. Always have been all my life doesn't happen all the time nowadays but it tends to happen often when I feel like I've lost my freedom in some way and last night night two in the quarantine hotel was my first night sleepwalking here and the thing about quarantine hotel is you don't have a key to get back in your room if you leave it because you got to get a police escort and I told the police when I was coming in and said look I'm probably going to sleepwalk it's something that I do and they just you know, well, I don't know what kind of facial expressions they make, so wear masks, but they just ignored it anyway. So last night, I slept walk, and if you've never slept walk, it's like, it's like you wake up in the middle of a dream, and you've got some mission, and you have to do it, even though you know it's silly. So I woke up, and it felt like I had to get out of my room, because there was someone in there attacking me, or something like that. It's always hard to remember. It's like trying to remember a dream. It's really hard. So I left my room, and then for a few minutes, it was as if there was someone in my room, so I was trying to knock on my door to get back into my room. But then, obviously, you snap out of it. I realized, well, I'm just sleepwalking, and now I'm in my underpants on level four in the quarantine hotel, and I can't get back into my room. So I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh, fuck, what are we doing now? I'm standing there on my undies, and I can't get in. So the humbling experience had already begun. You know, winning an award, not so humbling. Standing in your underpants at 33 years old, locked out of your hotel room, a little bit humbling. So the only way to get back in my room is about 1.30 in the morning is to get in the elevator and head down to reception. So I do that anyway. Get down there, there's you know the manager or someone's at the desk and then there's a table over near the desk where the police sit and they sit there all night and you know they don't let anyone in or deliveries without inspecting them. So I start walking towards the police and they stand up as if I'm a terrorist bomber about to blow up the hotel and they put their hand up there like, stop sir, where's your mask? And I'm a little bit puzzled, I'm like, mask like there's a man wearing just underpants in the hotel lobby at 1 30 in the morning and you're asking where his mask is like would you not ask where where's your pants sir where's your where's your shirt where's your dignity no they asked where's your mask i couldn't even answer that question like obviously it wasn't in my pocket because i wasn't wearing any pockets so i tried to explain to him i was like look I'm sleepwalking, I was sleepwalking, but it kind of sounds a bit silly because I don't seem to asleep. Anyway, he comes over, he throws a mask at me, and he's like, uh, so do you have a key? I'm like, of course I don't have a key. Nobody in the hotel has a key. This whole COVID thing, they, people ask the silliest questions, and I guess people do the silliest things because I'm like sleepwalking, getting locked in a room. So that's what I would call a humbling experience, ladies and gentlemen. When you're standing in a hotel lobby and there's a hotel manager behind the desk and there's two or three police officers sitting at a table and the door is opening and the wind is coming in and you're standing there in your undies and you're praying that you don't end up going on a boner for some random reason. Luckily, I wasn't 15 years old. Because when you're 15, you just go on a boner random times. Luckily, that didn't happen. That would have been more humbling. But that's a humbling experience, ladies and gentlemen. When you get locked out of your hotel room, you got to go to the reception area in your undies at 33 years old. Humbling, yes. Winning an award, not humbling. That's a proud moment. Yes, you can share it and say, you know what? Fuck, this was a proud moment. But don't try to say it was a humbling experience. That's not a humbling experience. Anyway, just thought I'd um, give my little bit of information, I guess, or my experience on what I think is a humbling experience. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I've missed in the whole uh, education of being humbled and humbling experiences. But um, yeah, that's the start of day three in the quarantine hotel. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I thought I'd wear pineapples today because, you know, pineapples are tropical and uh, they make me feel good. So yeah, giddy up, get into it. Happy Thursday.